guys, today I'm gonna make one of my favorite comfort food, fish and chips. Fish and chips is it's hard to make, especially if mamaya mo pa siya kakainin because mola nang yung crispiness niya. So today, that's what I'm gonna teach you. Paano ba magiging crispy si fish and chips kahit na one hour, two hours na siya nakastay lang sa lamesa natin. So, tara, tingnan natin kung paano. sarili natin, pero at least kahit onte medyo healthy, real potatoes ang gagamit natin, hindi chicheria o chips na we can buy in the grocery. So, if you have a mandolin, this is easier, but I left my mandolin in my condo. So, I'm gonna use the authentic way of doing it, which is using a knife and a potato. By the way, hi to Raya, National Blade. I'm using you right now. My favorite knife ngayon to use. This is a Yuto knife from National Day. So, when cutting, always do the spider position with your hands. Why? So that every time you um, slice, it always rests. Doon sa, ayun, hindi ko lang po nang tawag dito, pero dito. Ayan. Pwede pa click camera naman. Pwede nyo lang. So, every time you cut, kahit anong cut mo, dito lang siya tatama. Kasi pag nakiganyan ng kamay mo, patay na. Wala na tayong Daliri. No more future. Okay. So let's continue. Spider position. Slice thinly. Okay. So there we go. There's our chips. Okay. So what are we going to do with the chips? Hello. If you look at closer, cameraman. Hello. Closer, closer. So you cannot see the other. Uh, Wag na masyadong close sira ulo to eh. Okay. So, you can, you can see, you cannot see through. Right? But, to cook good chips na crispy, I'll teach you. Okay? First, we will have to boil this in oil. Not fry it. Boil it. Okay? So, meaning, our oil shouldn't be super hot. So, we're just going to, to boil the potatoes just so we can cook the inside. Okay? Until it's luminous. Let's go. So, if you don't have a thermometer to check the uh, um, temperature of your oil, you can use the back of your hand because this is the thicker part of the skin. Use it. And as long as hindi pa kayo napapaso, that means it's good to boil the potato. So, medium heat. Put your potatoes. See? No sound. No frying sound. Just put them below. But look, there's um, cooking that's happening, but not frying. So it's boiling. Can you see? It's boiling. boiled patata. So, as you can see, it's now cooked. Alright? Kasi usually, ang problema natin, at alam ko, problema nyo rin to, when you make chips at home, um, yung gitna, laging malambot. At yung labas, lagi, yun lang yung crispy. So, the reason why we boil our, our patatas first is because, para pamaya, pag pin-risk natin siya, pag pin natin siya sa um, hot oil, pantay-pantay ang luto niya. So, all parts will be crispy. Pwede nyo lang siya actually kainin ngayon pa lang. Hmm. Letting our patatas cool down. Okay. Let's start with making our chips. Okay. So, just like if napanood niyo yung video ko ng tuknene ng isang araw, so, Ay, hindi pala ang tokmene. Sorry. Quick, quick. The batter is almost the same. So, we need flour, cornstarch. But now, instead of water, we're gonna use beer. 
So yung beer ko nandun sa chiller because it's nice and it adds crisp if the beer is cold or chilled. So let's start with our flour. One cup of flour. And then let's put. Um, sorry, meron ako ng palatandaan ko ano yung corn starch. Eh. Let's put um, one half cup of corn starch. All right. Let's put this aside and let's get our cold beer. So, bakit hindi ko balot ng tissue? Actually, ang nagturo sa akin ito ay si Corporate Filipina. Okay? So, si Corporate Filipina, since mangiinom siya, para mabilis na mabigyang beer, she, she wraps it with towel na basa, and she puts it, in the, puts it in the freezer. Wala pang one hour, malamig na siya. Like this one. So, 30 minutes pa lang, ayan, malamig na siya. Okay? So, let's put beer Starting. Hmm. Akin sa pinunin ko yata ako na excited. Okay. By the way, thank you, uh, BDM for my red horse tonight. Okay. Put na lang di na ano uh, bawal ng beer. So let's add one cup of beer to our batter. Let's see kung tama na siya. Hmm. Let's use the whisk. Okay, so it seems cool lang pa. So let's add one more. Okay, let's check first. Adding half a cup. Kailangan ng texture niya medyo thick din. So, just so you know guys, I use the whisk. Every time I want my batter to be a little bit fluffy because whisking creates air. Okay? So this, kaya siya ganyan because yung spaces in between when you whisk liquid and flour, it creates air. So that that helps the batter to be fluffy when fried. Okay. So this is a little bit thick. So let's add the, so that's total of two, two cups of beer already. There you go. So again, that's one cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch, and two cups of beer. Again, I recommend um, beer that has high malt, high in malt. So, bucket beer instead of water. It's because beer adds, as I've said, it has malt and it adds that um, uh, fluffiness to the batter and crispiness to the texture. Mas matagal yung crispiness ng ating um, uh, batter pagka beer ang gamit natin. Okay? Instead of just water. Let's add salt. Okay? About um, one teaspoon of salt. And then one teaspoon of black pepper. You can use also paprika if you want. If you want a little bit um, more spicy, you can put paprika. Okay. All right. So there you go. It coats again the spoon. It's it's this thick. Alright, All right, so there we go. We have our batter. Let's put it aside. So it's best if you put it in the chiller while you prepare your um, fish. It depends on you. Anong slice ang gusto mo. You can do square, you can do pahaba. But since I want it um, easy to hold, you know, parang may kok sa drumstick, yung mga ganun. I'm gonna make a stick, okay? 
I'm using dory fish, okay? So dory fish is uh, white fish, okay? Why am I using this? Because this is the easiest fish to buy in the market, kahit anong oras, kahit mo siyang bilhin. Plus, it's cheaper. Okay, I think I bought this only for 99 pesos. Dalawa na yung laman niya sa isang pack. Okay, plus, if you cook dory right, it's very creamy. Okay, so it's cheap, it's creamy, it's available all the time. So, easy pa to cut. You can use all the parts. So, usually, wala nang trimmings to. Um, gagandahan mo na lang talaga yung pag-cut sa kanya. So, Cut it. Napakaganda ng knife ng National Blade. Super low. Okay. And then, since I want it, I'll slice it ng medyo paslan. So, slicing it ng medyo paslan. So, I can get longer cuts and mas marami tayong magawa. Time to put the batter. So, fish onto the flour. And then, put it in the batter. Okay? And then, do it for all the slices. Alright, so it's, it's hot now. The oil is hot. Let's fry the fish and chips. Nice. See that? Tumataas siya kagad. It floats right away. Hindi siya bumabagsak. That is a sign that we did the batter right. Pagka bumagsak, pag nag-submerge sa oil, yan ibig sabihin, masyadong mabigat yung flour. Hindi tama ang, ang recipe ng, ang, ang ratio ng flour natin versus sa beer. Add one more. This is done. Wow. Look at that. Light colored brown fish. Alright. So, tapos na lahat ng fish. Now, it's time to crisp our boiled sliced potatoes. So, let's... The, the, the oil is now super hot. So, halos di kundi na makatagal yung kamay ko dun sa taas ng oil. Okay. So, it's time to fry the potatoes. Ooh, can you hear that? So, wala yung sound na yun kanina, di ba? Ngayon lang siya. Just make sure hindi sila nagdidikit-dikit. Ah! Oh, nahuli! Mmm! Ang sarap! Na naririnig nyo ba yung crisp ng gourmet chips? Mmm! Perfect! So let's add, let's just add salt. So, Sashi, we get excited. Toss it. Excited yung aso ko. Toss. Okay. So, tanayin natin tong parchment paper na to. Pang gulo lang siya. And let's plate it. Hindi pa yung fish and chips na sauce. I made a tartar sauce. Basically, tartar sauce in Japan, they make tartar sauce with um, eggs, okay? But in the Western, they just make tartar sauce with uh, mayonnaise, cream of tartar, and pickles. And a little bit, I added a little bit sugar here and salt. You can also make honey mustard if you want. Your choice. So there you have it. My fish and chips with tartar sauce. So I think maybe this one's about good for one family. Pero tonight, tatlo lang kami kakain. And my beer is still waiting inside the freezer. So excited. So let's try. Dip it. Shut up. Crispy, creamy, look at that. Perfectly cooked inside. And 
to think that it waited for the chips to cook. Still, still crispy and juicy in the inside. Excited na ako. Uh, sana magustuhan niyo rin siya pag ginawa niyo siya sa mga bahay niyo. So, tara, inuman na.